does this mean that you have to pay this much to get in position one through three? Not if you're following along with my other videos and using other tools that I have on my website. Because like I've been showing you, we can put extensions on your URLs and stuff. And we can match up what's happening on your page. We can even create duplicate pages that meter out to each hour that you use strictly for hours. Uh, and you can actually lower these costs dramatically. Where everyone else is basically paying these, you can pay half of this or less. Just by going that extra mile to do it right. And this is the kind of stuff we go over a lot at WebsiteMarketingSolutions.com with dashes. Website-Marketing-Solutions.com all right, let me get back to this and stop with the plug. Uh, anyway, extract it from web page. Now, stop and think about it this way. There's 810 total keywords. These are like the first 10, and it's showing me that it sees where these keywords bring up pages of mine. But what about the rest? I mean, what about the remaining 800? I don't see Google's basically telling me it sees no pages on my website that have anything to do with those keywords that people are searching for. So there's 100 searches a day you know a, a month for Fresen and tea and Google says you know even if I have pages about Fresen and tea Google doesn't see it so it doesn't show me but remember I am not logged in to AdWords and I still would have to prove that I have control over this site before Google tells me all my own personal stats. Now the fact of the matter is CafePress.com is not my website, not one of the websites I have control over. So I'm not going to get to see all of their information here. Uh, if I, you know, you could say, well, if you did, you could compete with it. And the answer to competing with it is starting with the keywords, sorting by the highest monthly searches, and then being, you know, pounding into it from there. Reality check though. So just remember that. Um, you have to sign into Google AdWords and you have to prove that it's your website before you see full data. Google is not going to the actual real web pages of Cafe Press to pull this information up. Google is using its own indexed copies of the website, right? What it shows in search results, uh, results being the last cached copy of the page kind of thing. Uh, and so realize that this is information coming straight out of Google. This is Google saying it does or doesn't recognize you for particular keywords. So some of you guys who have websites all about, I don't care what it is, website marketing solutions, I just got up recently. I work mostly for small business clients and I optimize their pages and I help them with their AdWords and I help them with directory listings and stuff and I don't have a lot of time. So I haven't even started to optimize website marketing solutions.com for anything. Well, let me show you what you would be up or what you would normally see because this is what you're going to see especially when you're getting started or especially if you don't really know what you're doing and you're trying to get used to it you're trying to get better at it let's say I wanted to be up for website marketing maybe even solutions I don't even know if I'm optimized for that okay well guess what here's a bunch of terms that are searched on a certain number of times and yeah okay it is seeing websites coming off my website. Now it's not showing dashes, but the reason it's not showing dashes is because, hey, you know, I'm using the dashes here, so it is my website. But again, Google sees dashes and spaces the same way in that sense, but it's it's catching this off my title. It's catching this, what, out of the title of my web page too. That's right, and I don't have dashes in the titles of the web page uh, on some of the web pages because it's just website marketing solutions. In the title, I'm not going to put website dash marketing dash solutions dot com in the title of the web page. It doesn't mean anything. It's not added value to put your own website name as a title. Put the point about whatever the page is about in the title. That's what you want to do. Anyway, if I had to bid on these words or if I want to bid on these words, Google would say that I'd be paying about this much to be in one of the top three spots. And me, just because I know enough about what I'm doing, I'm probably going to wind up paying like half of whatever they got up here to be in some of these spots. And some of these are kind of a big one. Do you know what? I've had AdWords video training and stuff like that. I'm not sure what the suggested bit of that would have been. But I'm I'm getting seen here for words that would cost quite a bit. Does it mean I'm on the front page for this? I don't know. But I'm in Google's radar. You know, I can go look and see and I can do that. So whenever I have time to sit down and analyze all this stuff and rearrange my site and actually take the time to optimize it and scare the bejesus out of my competition, which, you know, I'll get around to doing sometime or another. <laughs> oh, boy. 
But anyway, I just haven't gotten to it yet. Okay, so for website marketing solutions, it's not showing me many words. It's just showing me 10 out of 10. That's because, hey, man, that's just a really, really tight phrase. What if we go wider? Oh, let me just try to go to something wide because I want to show you uh, one more thing that's important. Marketing. Oops. Well, we we'll just get it to happen. Okay, now I got my 810 up here again. That's kind of like the max what it shows you without signing in and looking up more detail on yourself. And again, it can show you categories that can relate and so on. So I can find something that really hits maybe somehow finance and community, family, whatever it is, uh, consumer electronics, whatever. Anyway, here we go. What do I want to do with this data? Let's say this. I want to export all 810. And I want to open it. And of course, what I really want to do is save all this information to a file so that I can start really working on it, creating AdWords off of it and everything else. But anyway, let me just take a look. Here we got our keywords and here we got our monthly searches. Here we have our competition. Here we have our suggested price, currency and all that. <sighs> okay, so anyway, first thing I might do is this. I'm going to I'm gonna take my competition. I want to sort for the lowest competition. I want to sort for the highest monthly searches. How do I do that really? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a data and I'm going to do a sort and Whoops, I don't need to be highlighting all this. Why? I'm just going to stick this here. Now let's try it. Data, I'm going to sort. And I'm going to sort by competition ascending. So ascends as it goes. Then I'm going to go by monthly searches. And I'm going to go descending because I want to start with the highest numbers, you know, for each of these numbers and work its way down. So let's do it. And guess what I get? Where there is no competition, this keyword right here, lateral marketing is getting 440 monthly searches. It would cost me like 80 cents per click to be up there for lateral marketing. Now, if I can get the word lateral to my web page, I can be nice and cheap. And I get lateral marketing on the end of my URL. And I'll be nice and cheap for this keyword in AdWords. And then I'll go for marketing global knee. Apparently, uh, this is like marketing global New York or something, but apparently people are either misspelling it or that's just the way it shows up. Uh, I can try it with and without the space just to see, but uh, 350 monthly searches, no competition, costs like 10 cents a click, right? That's 10 cents and so on. So do you see the value of this? It's going highest monthly searches for no competition, and I can pound on these, pound on the ones that I want. Many of these are not in English. I'm going to skip them. Okay, but I'm going to grab everything else. Advantage boss marketing. I don't know why people are searching for it, but there's like 82 searches a month or so. No competition. And about a dime per click. Maybe I should be there. Wow, this one's pretty wild. $20 a click. These guys are really fighting hard. They must have a really high line product to sell where they can make that kind of money back after 100 clicks or something, you know. But anyway, we go all the way down through all the zeros. Man, are there a lot of them. I can't believe it. Let me scroll. And then look, wow, and then there are two here um, <laughs> with 20 searches per month where people are even there, you know, competing for it. Then there's three, 52 searches a month, Google Video Marketing. So this is not hard to compete with, and this is the right way to sort the information, and this is the right way to start. The idea is if you start with the highest number of monthly searches for no competition, then you can work up a couple of sales, Get yourself going, and you can use that money and use that extra time and that proof to yourself that you're on the right path to start competing at a higher level of competition on the rest of the words. That way, as you work up the scale, it's easy to feel out each next step, how much harder you have to work to get through each next category. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. Please feel free to comment if there's anything you'd like me to do a recording about. Please put it down. I'd be more than happy. If you're on our website, you can contact me. If you're watching this on YouTube, please feel free to comment. And I'll be putting up more as I go along. Thank you very much.